फ्रेंड्स रिसेंटली सी बी एस ई हैज डिक्लेर्ड अ न्यू एग्जामिनेशन पैटर्न फ्रॉम द स्कॉलस्टिक सेशन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन टू थाउजेंड एटीन एंड नाउ इट्स गुड बाय टू ओल्ड सी सी ए पैटर्न यू मस्ट हैव बीन वरीड एज वॉट इज द न्यू पैटर्न अंडर द न्यू पैटर्न देर विल बी अ एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ हंड्रेड मार्क्स एंड these 100 marks will be divided into two parts as internal examination and the external examination as 80 marks and 20 marks 20 marks will be for the internal examination and 80 marks will be for the external examination that means the board conducted examination the 20 marks that is internal it will be again divided into 3 that is 10 marks 5 marks and 5 marks the 10 marks will be for the unit test 5 marks will be for notebooks and assignments and again 5 marks will be for the activities under the unit test there will be three test as unit test number 1 mid term test and the unit test number 2 the school may name it in a different way as unit test 1 mid term test and the pre board examination and the maximum marks will be decided by the particular school only and so the throughout the year three internal tests will be conducted and in the final examination it will be of 80 marks and all the chapters will be there as far as mathematics is concerned all the chapters 1 to 15 will be there for the final examination and this examination will be conducted in the month of march now you see in a detail that notebooks 5 marks are given so please it is my humble request to keep your notebooks update update your notebooks frequently keep notebooks neat and clean and be regular in submitting your assignments so that you will get whole complete five marks for the notebooks and the assignments then the second is activities activities has got five marks and it will be for languages science social studies and mathematics in languages the listening and speaking skills will be tested in science the lab work in physics chemistry and biology will be seen in social studies maps and projects works will be checked and in mathematics lab activities will be conducted and marks will be given to the lab activities and the uh, notebook related to this lab activities students in unit test there will be three test unit test 1 unit test number 2 and the unit test number 3 the maximum marks for all these three unit test will be decided by the school school may conduct the test for 30 marks 50 marks or 80 marks or even 100 marks it will be decided by the school because it is its internal matter suppose for the unit test 1 the school keeps the maximum marks 30 for the unit test may call it as a mid term test and give the 80 marks for as a maximum marks and for unit test 3 it may be called as a pre board examination and it is been given for the 80 marks then for this 30 marks the will be converted into 10 marks suppose a child gets 15 marks out of 30 marks then out of 10 marks he will get 5 marks similarly if he gets 80 marks in the second unit test out of 80 marks 
Suppose a child gets 40 marks, then again here out of 10 he will get 5 marks and likewise. And out of these, if in these 3 tests out of 10 a child gets 5 marks, 7 marks and 9 marks, then the base 2 will be considered and the average of these 2 will be considered as the internal marks for that particular student. So, out of the three tests, the two best will be considered and the average of that two best will be taken as the internal marks and that will be sent to the board. Students, here one thing should be remembered that there will be two tests, one internal and other will be external. Internal is of 20 marks and external is of 80 marks that we have seen. But the minimum passing mark, the internal passing mark should be 33% and the minimum passing mark out of 80 should be 30% and it is the separate passing. It means that in both the examination, a child should get the minimum 33% marks in internal examination as well as 33% marks in external examination. The 33% of 20 will be 6.6 .6 marks and the 33% of 80 will be 26.4 marks. It means the minimum of 6.6 .6 marks should a child get in the internal examination and the minimum marks of 26.4 a child should get in the external examination then only his result will be declared as pass. For example, suppose a child gets 20 marks as internal marks and 20 marks as external marks, the total marks he gets 40, it means it is 40%. It is more than 33% but still the result will be declared as fail because uh, the fi in final examination he gets 20 marks and which is not a 33% of 80. It means the minimum of 26.4 marks he is not getting and therefore his result will be declared as fail. So remember a child should get minimum of 6.6 .6 marks in internal examination and 20, minimum of 26.4 marks in the external examination then and only then the result will be declared as pass. Friends, I hope you must have enjoyed this video and if yes, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so that you will get all updates right into your mailbox. Thank you very much. Friends, you might have enjoyed this video. Then go to thumbs up button and click. Then go to share tab and share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and many more. And to get the updates right in your mailbox, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.